Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm excited to share with you how I made 25 cards from one kit. This is Pink and Main's Crafty Courtyard Kit for February of 2021 and it's called Happy Mail. So let me first show you the kit. It comes with this nice little zippered project bag. And this is the card that has a list of all of the contents on the back as well as the color palette. It comes with some sequins so that you can embellish your cards. And the paper pad I'll show you here in just a moment. But it also comes with some A2 envelopes, a flare collectible pen, some glitter ena enamel dots, and this stencil here. It's got like arrows pointing in different directions. And these are the dies that go with the snail mail stamp set that comes in the kit. I really like that Happy Mail word die. And then this is the stamp set. It's got some great sentiments on here. It says, dearest friend, happy mail, special delivery, sending love, hugs and clothes. And then some of the smaller ones say, better than email, you've got mail. I hope this finds you smiling and long live snail mail, along with some really pretty floral images and some envelopes and that cute little snail. And then this is the embossing folder. So now let me show you the paper pad. What I really love about Pink and Main's paper pads are that they're two-sided and they're very high quality and the colors are very bright and vivid. And most of the patterns in this particular kit are non-directional. Aside from the hearts there, you can cut these papers and use them in any direction. So they work really well for my six sheet card challenge that I'll show you here in just a minute. But um, these patterns are, are really pretty. I think my favorite out of all of them is uh, the one with the flowers. Let's see, where is it? Um, oh, it's right after this one. Now that one's really pretty too. That's another favorite, but this is my favorite here. So I'm gonna first pick out six sheets of coordinating paper that I wanna use to cut up and make 16 different cards from. Now I'll be using the free PDF template that I provide on my website. I'll link it in the description box below. I also have several videos that talk about my quarterly card challenge and I'll link those as well. Um, basically what you would do is use the free cutting templates and all of the different pieces of the pattern paper you'll put with the different card sketches and create 16 different cards. So here are all the different colored card stocks that come in the kit. This one's pretty shiny, but they all have a textured front and then the back side is smooth. And then it also comes with a few sheets of white card stock. Now, when I'm mass producing cards like this, I really like to go ahead and do all of my stamping and die cutting so that I'll have the pieces ready to go and I can just grab and kind of mix and match. So what I'm doing here is I've taken my Misty stamping platform and I've placed a sheet of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock that I've cut in half. I've placed that down into my platform and I'm, I'm trying to arrange my stamps so that I can stamp it on one side and then flip my paper over and then stamp it again so I can get a lot of images on one sheet. And I do this several times and I have to do several coats just to make sure that I get a good impression. And I think I ended up stamping total of four sheets of card stock so I'll have plenty of stamped images to use on my cards now here I am just stamping on some of those sentiments and I did experiment with some different colors and I won't show all of that here on camera and I'm sorry my head kind of gets in the way here but out off camera I've die cut all of these out and I've colored them with some Copic markers so now let me tell you about the card challenge these are the cutting templates here for each of the pattern papers. And I'm not gonna show you the process this time. I do have other videos that I will link above that you can check out if you'd like to see how to cut each of the papers. Um, but there are a couple of places on here that you'll need to cut out for scraps. Um, but there are six different cutting templates and they are color coded and numbered so you know which piece of scrap paper goes with which card sketch. And so as I'm showing you the cards, I'll put the card sketch over here on the right. So this is card sketch number one. And this is basically where I, I popped up that 
happy mail envelope as um, my sentiment. I popped that up using some foam tape. I did the same for this one. That was card sketch number two. Here's card sketch number three. And this is where I used those happy mail die cut words and then one of the floral images. And I did pop those up with some floral or some foam tape, I'm sorry. And then this is card sketch number four. And then this is number five. I think this one's probably one of my favorites. I did add some of the ruffled burgundy ribbon down at the bottom. This is number six. And then here's number seven. I really like this one. I took that, that uh, maroon or burgundy colored linen print and paired that up with the plaid. This is number eight. And this is number nine. And instead of doing the three enamel dots in the top left, I just decided to put them on the edge of those banners on the right hand side. This is number 10. And rather than flipping over that middle piece like it has on the sketch, I just decided to keep it all on the same side. This is number 11. And I did use the embossing folder for that pink cardstock up top. This is number 12, and this card sketch actually makes two different cards because when you cut it diagonally, it has two pieces. So these are the two cards that I made using card sketch number 12. And then for the last three, this is number 13. I used a horizontal stripe, not horizontal, diagonal stripe, and some plaid paper. This is number 14. And now the last card that I made, which was part of Kendra's card challenge. This is card number 16. And I did change that one up just a tad. Here are all 16 cards that I made using the free PDF template. And then I did make a, a few other cards and I'll show those to you now. This is where I used my favorite sheet of paper out of the whole paper pad. And I added a thanks die and some matching sequins into each stripe. And I made two of these. And then I also made two of this type of card here and I used the stencil on the top half and some pattern paper with the plaid at the bottom. And I used on the top half of this card, the scrap from that floral card. I used the other side, the blue dots and then that same plaid at the bottom. And then I really love these colorful hearts. And so I made two of these and then the scrap made that strip down the center. And now finally, this is probably another one of my favorites. I just used that pattern paper and added um, a piece of colored cardstock down the center. Here are all 25 cards that were made using the Happy Mail Crafty Courtyard Kit from Pink and Main. I really hope you like these. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me which one is your favorite. If you have some pattern paper that you'd like to use up or a card making kit that you haven't used yet, I want to invite you to join my card challenge. You can also win some prizes just by entering and using the hashtag Kendra's Card Challenge 1. For more details, visit my website at cardsbykendra.com. You can also find more information and card inspiration on my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest pages at Cards by Kendra. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.